Hi, Patrice here. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you <laughs> see. I'm, I'm, I'm angry, hurt, all the bad things today. Um, I'm dealing with a lot right now, and um, I'm not gonna discuss it all. I'm gonna talk to my therapist about some of it today, but um. And that's the part I'm not gonna share on here, but um, yeah, I'm I'm really overall pissed with um, everything that um, my mother's neglectful and abusive behavior has produced in me. I'm so disgusted. I can't like. I'm disgusted with myself and how how I am and um with certain things um a few of the latest I guess flashbacks that I've had was um that I let um I let people who now clearly <laughs> don't have it together in their own heads tell me who I am and um make like when somebody gives me criticism I take it to heart and now in this moment I'm like you know what look at the source listen to what they're saying and you know if there's some truth in it then okay but don't just take it to heart like it's the gospel you know so the two examples one person who was no longer in my life said about me and I didn't I wasn't paying attention man like she, she said she said you know Trees Trees can't just tell a story she got to you know go through all this and she got to do all this and that and she can't just get to the point and and I was like oh dang I don't want to I'm thinking to myself I didn't say it out loud I didn't say anything actually but I said to myself oh man I don't want to bore people so I need to get it together so I started to cut stuff like real like I'm a storyteller my father was a storyteller my grandfather was a storyteller and I now have people in my life who are always telling me like, oh my God, we love your stories. We want to hear more of your stories. And, and I was like, what? You serious? I'm not like droning on and on. And, you know, and one, my, one of my, um, now one of my best friends, um, Julissa, she always talks about how much she loves my stories. And I said to her one day, because she's like, you know, my best friend, I was like, are you sure? Like, I'm not like droning on and on and, you know, and like boring people or whatever. Cause like, but it wasn't just her that said, you know, like the opposite of what the other person said. And I'm now realizing that the person that said that also said things like, like, um, like when I stopped working to homeschool my, um, at that time, I only had one child. When I stopped working to homeschool her. We were, um, talking me and this other person and I said something about like, oh, I forgot what day today was. And she was like, yeah, I guess, I guess you have that, that ability since you don't have to work. And I dismissed so many things like that, that screams like jealousy and just all kinds of stuff. I'm taking advice from people like that on, on who I am. And then another person I have, okay, if something is going on between me and you, and I have an issue with you. I have to say something to you. I'm not going to curse at you. I'm not going to call you names. I'm, in fact, I'm going to be very, very like calculated and mindful in how I'm speaking to you. Because I don't want you to hear anger and rage and, you know, whatever you want to put with that. I want you to hear me. I want you to understand what I'm saying. So I am very clear and I know how to be like firm and, you know, without like being like, okay, for instance, a cousin 
one time was um, fussing about us having some event and I didn't come and pick her up to take her to the event. And I was like, um, well, the event was where I was staying. And so, no, I wasn't going to come leave there and come and get you and then come back. And she's like, well, you know, I don't drive. And I said, yes, I do know you don't drive. But I also know that you know how to get anywhere else you need to go. There's public transit, you know, like you you get everywhere else you need to go. Why couldn't you do that for this, too? You know, and she got mad at me. Well, this other person heard me saying that to the person. And she was like, oh, my God, you said that? You just said that? And I was like, yeah, it's true. It's not like, I didn't think I was being mean, but she led me to believe that. She was like, man, I think people would rather you just cuss them out because you just like, you just too blunt. Like with the way you say things, I was like, goodness, you know, that hurt and all. And so with that, again, I took that to heart and I'm like, okay, I need to be more careful with how I'm speaking to people because even when it's hard I don't want to hurt anybody and I don't you know but I ain't do nothing wrong nothing at all you know and so those are two instances where among many where I take to heart people telling me who I am and they don't know what the freak they talking about you know and I'm taking this crap in and I'm all like tiptoeing and hyper vigilant and like like oh I don't want to hurt anybody I don't want to and meanwhile I'm feeling all messed up inside because my boundaries or lack thereof are just like shattered you know in fact I didn't even have any boundaries and that pisses me off it just makes me so mad how the my mother's brand of of abuse has produced such just like a, a sense of self like like of a lack of self-worth and um people just do all kinds of stuff and and I let them you know and I'm so done with that I'm so, I'm so done with this it, but it just it makes me mad to to be 42 and just figuring this out but I have to say, I'm grateful that I'm here now, at least. But um, I'm tired. Like, I'm I'm literally sleepy and, um, and uh, just annoyed. My blood pressure is back up. I checked yesterday, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, just too much, too much going on. And I, it's like, I feel like um, I can't just, I don't know say what I need to say and it's it's crazy how I, I didn't even realize until now like there's certain things that I've allowed in the um past that um and when I say past I mean like two three four years ago that today I'm like oh my god why would you let that happen like why would you let that go on like as soon as you you catch wind you you nip stuff in the bud you know and I got to, this is, yeah, this is where my therapist was like, you know, you haven't forgiven yourself. And yeah, I need to forgive myself. Forget trying to forgive my mother. Even I already think that's done. But I need to forgive me. Because I'm the one that's sitting here all jacked up. God. I, I, <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry, this is like a little incoherent. Um, I'm just really mad, pissed off. And then I just think about like <laughs> all these little things. Like there's a, um, uh, uh, I got my um, Chromebook in the car. There was this um, thing. Let me see if I can find it. Um, a group, <laughs> you know, I got, um, you. so you know there's, there's, there's uh, PTSD and then there's CPTSD and uh, it's like how how all this stuff like happened you know <laughs> I can't believe I, I, I have a um, I saw something 
I'm looking for it. I'm sorry. I'm like, mm. yeah, here it is. I saw this and I was just like, like describe my freaking life. Hold on. This says, it says the differences between PTSD and complex PTSD. It says, let me check my time on here. Okay. It says one. Okay. For PTSD, it says one or few trauma, short lived trauma complex PTSD which is where I am um, chronic interpersonal trauma caused by abuse neglect in captivity or child abuse and yeah my issues are with me like Jesus um, with PTSD it says visual and somatic flashbacks complex PTSD visual somatic and emotional flashbacks yes PTSD, it says avoid uh, avoidance of triggers, isolating on complex PTSD, avoidance of triggers and relationships and chronic isolation. I do that. Um, PTSD, nightmares about trauma, sleep disturbance on the CPTSD side, nightmares, night terrors, chronic insomnia, major sleep disturbance. <laughs> my husband's gonna tell me the other day he was like just try to get some sleep I was like <laughs> how like how you know um PTSD dissociation issues may occur complex PTSD several dissociation disorder types come into play and I definitely like have a few of them um, PTSD, hypervigilance about environment, complex PTSD, hypervigilance about environment and people need to work people out. Yes. Like I, I'm like, I looking at the environment around me, trying to gauge whether things are okay and what the temperature of the room is. And then I'm looking at people and even if I have a problem with you, it's like I have to tiptoe because I want you to still be okay with me. Why the freak do I care so much about what you think about me? You didn't create me. You ain't like, oh, Jesus. So I sing a little bit sometimes when I get mad. Um, on PTSD side, this is the last of that side. It says anxiety and depression, some difficulty in emotion regulation. On the complex PTSD side, it says con considerable difficulty with emotion regulation, abandonment, depression. And yes, so and then it says self-perception, helplessness, severe shame, guilt, feeling different to others. Um, and yeah, yeah, I do have like ridiculous amounts of shame and guilt at times that it's false. It's just not right. And then fear of trust. Repeated search for rescuer, loss of faith, despair. And um, I do fear um, trusting, especially, yeah, just whatever. Um, distorted perceptions of the perpetrator. Preoccupied with the perpetrator. Yes. <laughs> distorted, like, like, it's like, like, my mother did all this stuff. Oh, but she's my mother. You only get one mother. And so I should just let that one, the one I have, I should just let her do whatever she wants with me, to me, and my children, and any other children that I see around because she seems to have a thing for abusing the children. And so I should just, you know, go with that because, you know, I only have one mother. And, you know, you got honor your mother. Honor your, honor your, honor your mother and your father. And, um... So you can live long. And <laughs> I think if I continue to do what I've done in the past, I won't live long because it's stressful. You know, I'd rather go through the healing process and take care of me than stay where I was. Like, that's freaking stupid. And God ain't call, called me to be no damn on doormat for anybody. You hear I almost cuss, right? Um, Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm mad that I have this. And I'm a little mad today, actually, that 
complex post-traumatic stress disorder is not even recognized but whatever um like it's not really recognized in the um like psychology field on like the, the dsm it's not um recognized they 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 understand ptsd but um but there are many people in the field who um totally get trauma they get you know what um people like myself are dealing with and going through and so i glean from them and i am um i'm gonna keep going and i'm gonna do my best to hold my head up like my father told me to do <laughs> and um I'm going to keep doing these videos and I'm going to be authentic and real and anybody who can't deal with it and don't like it, I don't know, go do something else. <laughs> I'm not even, I had to stop myself from saying I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not. I'm done being sorry. I'm done apologizing for what I didn't do, what I didn't cause, and I'm going to stand up for myself like never before. I'm done. So, if you'd like to see more, <laughs> like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will be back again. Thanks for watching.